finding plain text files and filtering out binary files while ignoring their file extension? This is a tough question. This is one of those questions where it sounds like it would be easy, but when you actually get into the weeds of it, you realize this is a tough thing to solve. Um, so there's gonna be a couple different answers here, but I would approach this not from a generic point of view. I would try to figure out what specifically I'm looking for and gear my program towards that. Um, and if you're looking to do this, I'm gonna talk about why it can be confusing. So what you wanna do here is you wanna find all the files in your system or in a given directory or whatever that are plain text and not binary. So you're gonna ignore the extension completely. You don't care if it's a .jpg, a .txt, any data could be inside that file. The extension doesn't matter. So how do you determine that? Well, typically you would look at the magic, what is it, the magic byte, the first two bytes of a file. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, there's a magic number. I think it's the first two bytes of a file. You would look at that to figure out if it was a binary file or what the file type of it was. The problem with that is you could just lie. I could make a file that looks like a plain text file for the first kilobyte of data and then have five kilobytes of binary data in it. Vice versa, I can make something that looks like a binary file at the beginning, have a bunch of garbage in it, and then have plain text at the bottom. So you have to figure out, you, the programmer, the person who's writing this specific piece of software, what do you classify as a plain text file? If I have a plain text file with some binary data, is it still plain text? Doesn't that make it a binary file? What if it's a binary file with some plain text in it? Well, that's most binary files, so that'd probably be binary, right? Does a program become binary when there's only, like when there's some bits of binary data, when it's 10%, 20%? You have to answer these questions. I know I'm overcomplicating it, but I'm showing how deep and how tough this question can actually be. But long story short, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to find all the files. You're gonna have to you know, loop over, read dir um, recursively, and then you're going to have to actually open the file and start reading data and do your best to judge if it's plain text or not. How are you gonna figure that out? I don't know, maybe look if it's valid ASCII, if it's valid UTF-8, maybe UTF-16, like you, you, the person behind this, have to describe. You have to figure out what you want a plain text file to be, like the definition of it to be. Um, if you're writing pieces of software like this, I would point you to security or forensics distros. So they have tools out there that can look at a hard drive, like an image of a hard drive, and then extract files off of it. I would say start there because that's typically going to be looking at the contents of a file and making a determination like, hey, this thing 80% looks like it could be a file. That's what you're going to want. You're going to want heuristics around it. And then you're going to want to find some sort of percentage that satisfies it for your definition. This is a deceptively tough problem. So yeah, there you go.